excited because I'm in Steph's home, this beautiful RV. Steph, yes. it's always been my dream to travel across the country with an RV. I think that they are so lovely and amazing and just so cool because it's a house on wheels. A house on <laughs> wheels, right? With full amenities. Like, what? Like, does it get any better? It what doesn't. What is your dream? I, you know what? Just driving it. So we're going to talk about that because <laughs> yes, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I want to ask you about what you need to plan before you even think of getting into an RV. Yeah. So welcome to my humble abode. So nice. Thank you. Thank you. There's a lot that you need to consider before you get into an RV, right? Like an RV isn't like a regular vehicle where you just pack up the car, pack up the kids. and You're like, all right, the road is ours. You really do have to consider where you are going. Is it RV friendly? Mm -hmm. How long is it going to take you to get there? Do you need amenities? Right. Mm -hmm. And and this motorhome is actually from Motorhome Travel Canada in Bolton, okay. and it, it's decked out. It's filled up with all of the amenities that we could possibly need. Of course, we have a full kitchen here behind yes. you. We actually have a TV. It comes right up out of the counter. <laughs> Oh my yeah. gosh. And like proper solid counters too. Like proper this is solid amazing. Counters. Yes. Okay. So everything you want in a home, you can get this, but it's on wheels. Talk mm -hmm. to me about the budgeting of this. What do you need to think about money wise? Yes. Yeah, so this RV is actually a 32 foot long RV that sleeps seven. So before I tell you the budget, seven. where do you think all the people go to sleep in this RV? <laughs> There's a bed back there. Of you can fit two. Mm -hmm. Are we saying you should fit three or four? <laughs> Maybe <there>? two. I <laughs> think two can fit back there. Okay, so the other people will just be where? <laughs> so we've are got the microwave. <laughs> Where so we actually have this counter that goes down a little bit and you can put a cushion on top and one or two people can sleep here. Oh, this turns into yep, a bed. It turns into a bed. We've also That's got cool. a pull-out couch and then we've got two beds as well um, overneath, over top of the driving area. Yeah. Oh or one bed gosh. rather with that fits two people. Yeah. So this is all going to become, this is like bed, bed, bed. Bed, bed, bed. Exactly. That is amazing. Exactly. So, so talk to me let's about talk to you about the budget. Oh, oh no, talk, talk to me about, about the budget. budget. Talk yeah. to me about so the money, So when it comes honey. to the budget, yes, the money, honey. Yeah. We're talking about 32 foot uh, long RV here. So it mm. can range from about 1500 to $2,000 per week during the popular season. Okay. Um, you can get a smaller RV that doesn't fit about seven people and that would be for solo traveling or maybe with a couple, you know, yeah. you can do that little couple travel around the country if you wanted to. That's and cute. that's from maybe $1,200 to $1,600. Yes. So you could go either way because the, the sizes of the RVs, it ranges, right? So right. it's all about what you want. Yeah, and what you can drive. Exactly. So if a smaller RV is probably going to be, you're going to be able to maneuver it a little easier. You can maneuver right? a smaller RV a little bit easier. Yeah. A 32 foot long RV is about the highest you can go without having to get a special license. So you can drive this you can drive with this a regular license. With a regular license. Yeah. And this RV actually comes with a couple of cameras as well to help you with your parking and your turning, oh, which gosh. is incredible because you definitely need it. Yes. And I would definitely suggest maybe driving with a co-pilot so that they can hop out, make sure that you are parking the way you need to park. Yes. Um, and maybe take over if you're like, this isn't for me. I was yes. born to be driven. <laughs> <Not> to drive. <laughs> Do you know how many people I know who have done RVs and thought to themselves, this is going to be so difficult to maneuver mm -hmm. and then said they got into it right away. Wow. I think it's just a matter of like getting into it, figuring out the parameters, mm -hmm. like any new vehicle you get into. Any new vehicle. And yeah. the same thing goes when you go to pick up a rental is you can actually ask them to test drive. Yes. So do the test drive, yes. get the people there to go on the road with you, show you how everything works and yeah. you'll be a pro in no time. I highly recommend. Now, if you were to do an RV vacation, mm -hmm. are you driving or is Brayden? Bryden is definitely driving. Bryden, yeah. Bryden. <laughs> yeah. You're not doing depends, the driving. It depends on like how far the distance is. Yes. Like if it's a really long distance, again, born to be driven. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, I hear but you. But if it's like a short distance, and that's another thing when it comes to cost as well, mm -hmm. you can choose to go to multiple different parks and you do have to make sure that you have, you plan or budget that because yes. of course you could have campground fees. There's so many right. other fees, fuel fees. You've seen the price of, at the pumps lately. Yes. It can be a lot, right? So yeah. you want to budget. Yeah, I have noticed our gas prices high. <laughs> <laughs> Incredibly They're brutal. Brutal. Yeah. So all things that you have to consider when yes. you rent an RV. Okay, so the other thing I want to know, because sometimes you're watching movies and there's, you know, RVs and they go to the RV parks. Mm -hmm. Like, do you need to plug the plumbing into a yes. thing so you can flush the toilet or whatever yes. you got to do yes, that you absolutely do and when okay. it comes to the kitchen as well you have to fill up the water before you go so you yeah. have lots of water as well and this okay. RV is actually a bump out so it, it, it so it means that you can actually retract it oh. so that you know it could be nice and tight while you're driving along if that's what your worry is yes uh, but otherwise yeah or you can and then when you get to your destination you bump it on out and you have yes. all the space for lounging Oh my gosh, it's like, it's a dream. I would totally do it if someone would just drive me. <laughs> Steph, 